Yo, what is up, boomers? Today, oh shoot, I didn't, I didn't mean to say that. Just for, forget I said that, guys. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, Ice Cool Tech here, back again with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how the latest iOS 13 beta release is holding up on one of Apple's older supported iPhones, the iPhone 7. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel to stay up to date with the latest news from Ice Cool Tech. Definitely make sure to check out the Ice Cool Tech official Discord link down below in the description. Anyway, let's get right into the review. Alright guys, so the iPhone 7, Apple's 2016 iPhone with 2016 hardware such as the quad-core 810 Fusion processor and 2GB of RAM, unless of course you have the iPhone 7 Plus which does get that extra third gigabyte, is still receiving, receiving the latest updates from Apple. I've been, at, I've been running iOS 13.3.1 Developer Beta 3 on my iPhone 7 for some time now and I've noticed a noticeable increase in the smoothness of the user interface. And this is pretty uh, a nice, you know, improvement, of course. All the animations throughout iOS perform noticeably better than Developer Beta 2 did. However, you can expect to see the same overall performance in app launching as iOS 13.3.1 Developer Beta 2. iOS 13.3.1 Developer Beta 1 and 2, there was a noticeable battery drain. This was apparent on my iPhone 7, but not nearly as bad as my iPhone SE or iPhone 11. I am running a current max capacity of 97% on my iPhone SE, as you guys can, or on my iPhone 7, excuse me, as you guys can see right here. And uh, with iOS 13.3.1 Developer Beta 3, I am seeing a slight improvement with battery life on my iPhone 7 over Developer Beta 2. This is definitely a good sign, and I hope Apple will continue improving upon this, as battery drain has been an issue for many users across all the releases so far of iOS 13. Now, if you are, of course, running an earlier version of iOS 13.3.1, I definitely recommend updating to beta 3. And if you're running iOS 13.2.3 or earlier, which this iPhone 7 is actually on 13.2.3, I'd also definitely recommend updating to iOS 13.3, the latest full release from Apple. Or if you really want to, I would also definitely say yes to iOS 13.3.1. Now, if you're using an iPhone SE, I will have a full iOS 13.3.1 Developer Beta Theory review coming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that because it will be slightly different than this review um, with battery life and performance because of the hardware the iPhone SE is using. So stay tuned for that if you guys are interested. Alright guys, so that's all I have for this video. As always, make sure to smash that like button if this video helped you out. And definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications on to stay up to date with all the latest info. See you all in the next one. Peace out.